Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Adobe After Effects. This time I'm going to show you how to make a rotating earth that will look something like this. Okay, so you can see there's sort of like an atmosphere, there's the earth, the stars, and then that little shine. So let's get started. First, you can go to the video description and download the earth map, which is just this. Okay, so yeah, now we're going to go to composition, new composition, and we're going to name this earth, and make sure it's NTSC DV widescreen, and it can be about like five seconds, and hit OK. Now drag in the earth map. And then we're just going to go into the uh, effects and presets and type in CC sphere. And then drag that onto it. And you can see that it might cut it off. So then we can go up to the radius and then bring that down. And you can just like scale it up until it's the right size that you want. Now we can go to um, the rotation and make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline and keyframe r rotation Y, go to the end, and then change it to 1x. So it should pretty much, um, once it gets to the end of the timeline, it should have rotated exactly one time. So it won't like rotate around like 180 degrees and then suddenly be like at a new part point. I'll just show you what I mean. Look. You can see, look, it's about to get to the end of the timeline and it's still rotating. But look, if we go to the end of the timeline and then change it to like to zero and then like 180, then it'll look like this. I'll just cut out the part when I render it. Okay, so yeah, if you don't make it a full rotation, it'll look like this. So yeah, my basic point is just that you should just make it one rotation, so it just looks better. Now we can go to Layer, New, Solid, and it doesn't matter what color it is, we can just name this Space and put that on the bottom and then go into the effects and presets and type in fractal noise and then drag that onto it so we can bring up the contrast and bring down the brightness and then now bring down the transform settings and then bring down the scale so you can see that now we have outer space with a bunch of stars you can if you think that there are too many stars you can like adjust the brightness and then bring up the contrast and just like play around with it until it looks good next we can make the atmosphere so go to layer new solid you, you might want to make it this type of color it's like a bright 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 greenish blue hit ok we can name this atmosphere and then type in CC Sphere in the effects and presets and then drag that onto it. We we're going to change the opacity to maybe like 25%. No, let's say 35. And then just scale it up so that it's like just a little bit bigger than the earth. We can just bring up the radius, maybe. Okay. And then we can add a glow effect to it, so type in glow. And drag that onto it. And we can go to the beginning of the timeline. And then... Keyframe the... I think it's the glow radius. Yeah, 
keyframe with low radius, go to the end of the timeline, and just bring it up. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we can add the little um, glow. So click on the space layer, go to the effects and presets, and type in, um, oh yeah, lens flare. And then drag that onto the space layer. <coughs> so we can drag this to, like, outside of the composition, go to the beginning of the timeline, and then keyframe the flare center, and then go to the end of the timeline, and maybe drag it just, like, up to here. So now I'm going to render it out. Okay, so once you're done, it should look a little something like this. Okay. So that's the basic effect. There's not really anything else you can add to it. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please check out my other tutorials. I have a lot and subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you next time.